All right, Paul, so what are we gonna do here? So we're gonna make a fake roux. So we talked about- How roux? How rude? To make a fake roux. Yes. Well, not a real roux, anyways. Well, real, real roux is equal parts of flour and some sort of fat, usually butter. Yeah. And that's what thickens a uh, good many sauces. What we're going to do is we're going to make a gluten-free product that can be used like a roux. So we're making an alternative roux. Sure. Bring it. Yep. Show me what you uh, got. Much, much like lobster bisque was meant to be made, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to take the, the rice cooking and we're going to do that at the beginning and use that as a base for thickening other sauces. Sounds right? good. So typical long grain rice is a, a one to two ratio of rice to liquid. We're going to do about a one to four. Oh, I was just checking. We're going to do about a one to four That's ratio because four. we want the rice to overcook. Awesome. So this is one of the times and where that's so that when you puree it, it'll be nice and rui, rui, rui. It'll have some which is something else it. entirely. Rui is roasted garlic spread. You're killing me, Petey. You're killing me, Petey. So, all right. So let's do this. All right. So I, rice. Look, I think I can do this without this, this getting is, in trouble. This is foolproof. Perfect. Perfection at its best. Water. Water. Watch this. Left hand. Tell me you're impressed, now, Paul. To, Tell me you're impressed. That's amazing. Do you want a job? No, I don't. So, a couple things that well, we can do here. thank you for the offer. So. so this is gonna be a white roux. Okay. Uh, so we're not going to saute the rice. We're not gonna create any color. We can add some flavor if we wanted to add some onions to this and add a little Are bit of- Are we going to? Um, we can. Uh, both of the sauces that we'll be making with this uh, have onions in them. So we're not, incorpor we're not adding another flavor. How much? Um, maybe a quarter of a cup. <laughs> quarter of a four, cup. Four so is ounces. that a half a handful or is that a... <laughs> we'll go that much. That's a quarter of a cup, y'all. Just in case you were wondering. All right. Nailed it. Then we're going to put this on the stove. We're going to let it cook, but it's going to overcook and we want it to overcook. That's intentional. Absolutely. And then we're going to puree it. And then we will. So I heard two things in there I think that were crucial. One is that we want the four to one because we want it to overcook. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to overcook it. We are going to overcook Let's it. Let's do Absolutely. this. So going on to the stove. We're going to give it about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll check it from there. We'll come back. Cool. All right. We cooked up. 10 minutes later. 10 minutes later. We are uh, watch cooked. this. Watch this. I, I know how Hit to the work. release. There you I go. Did that. All right. Now can you take the thing? blender off? Absolutely. Good job. Now, this is a this is a, a something. You can tell it's overcooked. So it's saucy. It's saucy. Yeah. And that that's why we had so much water in there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this hot liquid into Step back. the blender Step back. with the rice. Okay. And then we're gonna put it on there. We're gonna put the lid on. That's a good idea. Now, By the way, chef's tip number 243, put the lid on. Put the lid on. Did you see how I did that? Because otherwise... It would be ugly. Yes. Now also, we want to open this up to release some of the steam. Because when, when we start blending, mm -hmm. all that hot air is going to try to escape. That's a good thing you can burn. You can burn yourself really bad. So be super it. cautious about hot liquids in blenders. So when you blend it, you're going to leave that... Yep, just to release some of the steam. Awesome. You're always going to start on low. Can I? Yep. Are you going to have to try to talk over this? I don't think so. How long will we do this? Well, now you switch it to medium. And now high. Yeah! And now you can stop it. But high. Getting high again. There you, there you go. go. Awesome. And then the, this that's my job. I'm sorry. I am I, I releasing? Yes. Sorry. I'm just I'm just impatient. I have to have a job. You man. know I'm impatient. Oh I know that. Absolutely. So all right. Good job. What now? Now we take this off. I don't know how to do that. Alright. So now we have our fake roux. Okay. This, this is our fake white roux. In another episode we'll make a fake brown roux. Quit saying fake, it's alternative. Alternative. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna teach you something. I don't know what it's going to be, but that's... So we're going to have this alternative roux. Got it. Okay. And uh, we're just going to save this for when we're ready to make our sauces. So this is 
This is the base for if you're making an Alfredo sauce for, for pasta. This is uh, for a velouté, for a bechamel, any kind of cream sauce or uh, thickened white sauce. And I sauce. think you had Soups, some you already know. finished around here somewhere. I do. So let's let them see right what here. this looks like. So this is one of those things that you can make a large amount in advance, keep it in your refrigerator. And then as you're making sauces at home, uh, you can just take a scoop out of this to, to thicken your sauces and give it the thickness that you want. It's good stuff. Thank you. So that's roux. 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 You have to have the last one. Always. <laughs> that's roux. <laughs> All right, Paul, tell them what we need. We need subscribers. That's what we need. Why do we need subscribers? Would you quit asking that question? You know why we need subscribers. I don't. I don't either. But we do. So please, subscribe to these videos. Thank you.